Well, good morning, magandang umaga, and welcome to today's episode of My PI Dream. A few more projects for today. Uh, it seems like projects never end, and people keep making comments to me about, isn't this retirement for you? Well, it is retirement, but you know, the things to make your later retirement years more comfortable is all the preparation you do ahead for that. And that's what I'm kind of doing. I'm trying to get everything exactly like I like it so I can relax, so Ness can relax, so we all can relax around here at Villa Feliz. Anyway, uh, after the intro, I'll show you a couple of the projects that we're going to do first thing this morning, and then we have some surprise Surprises for later on this afternoon. Uh, I'm hoping they're going to be surprises. I'm hoping they're going to be good surprises. So let's go ahead and get today started. So without further delay, let's get today's video underway. We probably notice I am a little bit wet this morning. Mm perspiration uh, from working out in the yard. I got up bright and early this morning and I started working on some of those worm mole hills. Uh, it's kind of like a double-edged sword. Uh, it's good to have the worms. They fertilize the yard. They kind of aerate the ground so it doesn't get compacted. But these worms here in the Philippines, they make a mess. They make all these little, looks like hundreds of volcano, little tiny volcanoes, what I call volcano. It's like a mound with a little hole in the top where they come out. Good thing there's no smoke coming out of the top of them. Uh, so I spent the morning working on that and I worked with my gardener this morning as well uh, to do some topper. You see me talk in earlier episodes about uh, the need sometimes uh, when grass, especially bluegrass, when it becomes compacted uh, from walking on it, uh, you sort of make paths and it's, very, it's almost like the green, uh, the putting green on a golf course. It can become so compact and I don't want it like that. I want it where it's nice like a carpet so I have grass about this big. So what you do, you just put a little bit of topper soil on there, you work it into the grass, you water it in well, and after a while it be starts growing the grass and it becomes thick. So that's what I was working on this morning. But that's not what today's episode is about. Today's episode is about uh, uh, some of the projects that we're doing here. Uh, one of the things that I'm going to do first thing this morning is I ordered these uh, little, what do you call these, shells. I guess you could call these shells. Uh, and these are for spice. It's, oh, it's a rack. It's a spice rack. So what I'm going to do, Ness asked me to put some of these because she has tons and tons of spices. You know, she likes cooking. Uh, so uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these inside uh, the pantry. Uh, I have to find a spot for those. So I'm going to mount these. I think I have four of these. And then what we are going to do later on after we get that done, you know, we have ceiling fans everywhere through the house. So what I did, I placed an order on Amazon. And I, that's what I want to talk about right now. I placed an order on Amazon uh, for one of these Hunter, mm, I forgot what it's in. It's, it's, uh, Hunter, some, I'll, I'll post the name of what it is, uh, but there's a specific name for this. And uh, it's for your ceiling fans so that you can remotely uh, change the speeds. Turn it on, turn it off, and change the speeds from a remote control. Now, I ordered this on Lazada.com, and I've all, talked a lot about comparisons between Lazada here in the Philippines and Amazon in the, the US and the rest of the world, basically. Now, you can get Amazon here in the Philippines also, but just cost, it's a premium for shipping. Uh, so, but the, the, when I do my comparisons, mainly I do the comparisons about quality, and it's kind of a buyer beware sometimes on Lazada. Sometimes you get good stuff, and sometimes you get stuff that's uh, like a knockoff. Um, and unfortunately, uh, that's the price you have to pay sometimes, and it's kind of like going to a casino and rolling the dice and uh, you, you get what you get sometimes. Uh, so anyway, I just opened this box up, let's take a look. Uh, I don't know if this is legitimate or not. Uh, it's supposed to be what we have in the US. It's a remote control, like so. Let's see, this is the remote control. And this is the control unit that fits up inside of the uh, the fan, uh, the fan base where the electronics are. All right, looks something like this right here. Some wires, controller box, and I think it's like a rem uh, RF remote control with this, and some little 
uh, caps inside here, the, the uh, nut caps that you use for tying wires together. Uh, there is a diagram on here, which is great because unfortunately a lot of times when you get the instructions uh, from places on Lazada, when they come in, they're not in English, not in any language except for <laughs> Chinese. <laughs> oh, what a coincidence. Uh, but yeah, there's not, there's, there's, everything is in, I imagine this is Chinese. It looks like Chinese characters to me. If we have any folks from China that are watching this, maybe you, maybe you can interpret it for me. So anyway, uh, but there is a diagram on the back of here. What I'll do is I'll take a picture of this. I'll blow it up so it's easier to see. And these are relatively easy. I've done these on all of our Hunter fans back in the US. Uh, it's, you connect up your AC, uh, you, you connect it up. There's even a spot for the light. If you have a light uh, connection, you can turn on and off the light or you can turn on and off the fan, change the speeds. Uh, so let's go ahead and get the first project done, which is Nessa's spice racks, and then we'll work on the ceiling fan. Well, here we are at the pantry, and uh, Nessa will probably have a fit with me showing you the inside of her pantry with all of her stuff that she has inside here. She'll say, oh, you're showing them my messy pantry. Uh, but it's kind of a necessary evil, uh, and I'm not pulling everything out, so sorry, Ness. Anyway, uh, oh, and this is my shelf. You see, with all the, the snacks and munchies and stuff like that, that's the James shelf. Uh, so anyway, what I'm going to do, I, I'm, I'm going to look at a couple of the spices, the spices, and these are probably our tallest, uh, some of our tallest spice uh, bottles that we have right here. So that's how I'm going to judge uh, the separation and the ease of being able to pull stuff out. So what I think I'm going to do, uh, I kind of fit all of these uh, racks that are inside here because they're adjustable. I fit them to what Ness normally has her stuff inside there so she so can easily remove it. Then I'm going to go in and I'm, gonna, I'm going to uh, install them inside here. Uh, and I'll, I'll install the bottom one first and I'll put spice racks in there. And then I'll put the one on top of it based upon how easy it is to uh, remove uh, the spice bottles from the one on the bottom. Well, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, that's all done for this. Uh, I thought I had four racks. There's actually five inside there. So I'm going to find another place to put the other two racks. Uh, and then uh, this job will be complete. So we're going to call this closed out for this particular project this morning. Uh, a caution, you have to make sure uh, that you don't drill through <laughs> the back of your cabinet into the front. Uh, the door that's on your cabinet or your pantry. Uh, and there's a good chance of that. So one of the things you can do, you can put a piece of tape uh, put a piece of tape around the uh, the drill bit itself to act as a guide so you make sure that you don't go through. Uh, well, we're lucky we didn't go through on this one. Uh, I kind of have an idea about how deep I should drill. Uh, so anyway, this is done. Uh, and then the next thing we'll do is we'll work on the ceiling fan kit. Okay, let's go back and take a look and see what we have here. It's very, it's a very simple installation, and what's nice about this is the markings are very clear on the wires. Uh, so you have an AC in uh, the neutral, and you have an AC in for the line. So this is going to be the one that is hot, and this is the return. And then what you're going to do on the the other wires inside here, you're going to have the for the motor. You have the the motor two motor uh, where it's connected to the neutral. Then you will have a two motor. You can see this one right here as well. Two motor, and this is the line, the existing hot wire that's going in. And if you're running a light kit, uh, you would hook this one right here. This is for the light, but we don't have a light kit, so we don't have to do this. And this other wire that we have right here is, it's the antenna, it says right there, antenna. Uh, and this is what will be hanging free uh, inside the little base of the of the ceiling fan, uh, which will transmit to this uh, control device right here. 
Now the first thing I need to do, I need to go get a ladder. I need to get on the top up there, on the top of the ceiling fan, drop that decorative protective cover down and get access to the wires. So let me go ahead and do that and then we'll start the installation. All right, so here's my dilemma while I was up here. I spent way too much time working on this. This, this uh, controller device right here that is supposed to fit inside the base or where it connects up here and hooks up to the electronics, uh, it slides in just like this. And when you push it all the way up against uh, up against the the mountain side here it sticks out too far here it won't allow your cowling uh, to close on it it also will not allow this decorative cover the trim to go over it as well it sticks out way too far uh, well I brought it down into the basement I re removed the electronics out of it and I'm going to see if I can trim this portion right here uh, this area right here this is to allow air to some of the heat sensitive components inside there uh, and what I did was I looked inside to see how close they get to these holes right here we just don't want to short it we don't do, want to do anything uh, to make this a safety problem so what I'm going to do I'm going to go ahead and try to do a mod on this uh, my philosophy is if it doesn't work uh, it's better to make an attempt to fix it as long as safety isn't a factor uh, and do a modification and if it works it works if it doesn't it doesn't but if it doesn't it didn't work to begin with and I don't like Lazada's uh, return policy it's kind of a crazy return policy and I think I talked about it in the past and it wasn't really that expensive uh, so I'm gonna go down I'm gonna try to mod the case reinstall this see if I can get it to fit up there and we'll see if we can get it to work so using the grinder, I cut off these pieces around the corner here that was stopping it. Let's see if that's enough cut off there now to allow this to slide up inside the mounting bracket. So with a little persistence and a little willpower, I was able to go ahead and modify the case a little bit and get it to fit inside the, uh, the housing for the ceiling fan. Uh, I pulled all of the I pulled all of the blades off and, and they needed cleaning anyway, uh, but it made it a lot easier by taking all the blades off. So let me do a final cleaning. I have that one more plate on the bottom to attach uh, and that's again for aesthetics. Uh, the cover up that unsightly area up there and then we'll do a test. Well, now is supposed to be the moment of the test, but I can't test because while I was putting on the last blade, uh, we had uh, the doorbell rang. I expected it to be Kit Sanchez, but we're supposed to run down to, oh goodness, we're, we're supposed to run down to uh, one of the Kubo stores. Remember I told you earlier, we're, we're going to run to one of the Baha'i Kubo places to see about getting the bamboo for the, for the tiki bar. Uh, well, when I walked out to the front gate, it wasn't just, uh, it wasn't just Kit. It wasn't even Kit, and I'll show you who it was. My backyard's been taken over. <laughs> Hi guys. So, Hi. Hey, hey, do me a favor. Introduce yourselves again. Hi, I'm Auntie Tobias Nies. Hi, I'm Jojo. Hi, I'm Saul from LA. And, and you remember Jojo? She was actually here. She came here about a year ago. She came here visiting us. Grace from Texas. <laughs> from who? From Texas? Yes, Houston. Great. Houston. No I'm problem. from Houston. Doris. Doris. Jingo from Houston, Texas. I'm Art from Anaheim, California. Are you are you guys Filipinos by any chance? Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. all Filipinos. Trees from San Diego, California. Rowena from Los Angeles, California. DJ from Northridge, California. Ray from Anaheim, California. Pat Calvaro from Woo! League City, Texas. <laughs> Boy from Houston, Texas, Berlin. And I'm James from Villa Feliz, Lipa City. <laughs> Well, we got one more up here. I'm Cabo from BBC. <laughs> what about you? I'm Hapoon. My <laughs> Kids, I want a Michelob beer. <laughs> oh, what's that, Miguel? San Miguel. Oh, Miguel. Oh, Miguel. Oh, <laughs> San Miguel. <laughs> San Miguel. <laughs> That's crazy. You never know who's going to show up around here. 
Uh, okay, well, they all took off. Uh, it was really nice visiting with folks. It was a short visit, uh, which is uh, gives me the opportunity now to go ahead and finish up this project. Still, Kit is not here. Maybe we won't be going to the bamboo uh, shop today. Maybe it'll be tomorrow. Anyway, let's go and see if all that work I did this morning, if the uh, fan will actually work. All right, so now for the moment of truth. Let's see if all this work uh, is actually gonna pay off. So let's go ahead and test it out. Uh, let's try it low first. Oh, that's a good sign. And I'm going to medium. I can hear it clicking, it's setting the different speed. And we'll try high. Well, that seems to be working good. So the only other thing I need to do now, this is a uh, mounting bracket for the remote control. Uh, it sits in something like this right here. So we just have to find some place on the wall and whether it's inside the sunroom or right over here by the, by the uh, switch. This is the switch right here that turns on the, the fan itself. So you would leave this in an on position all the time. Maybe we'll put it right here. I don't know, we'll, find, we'll see which works best. Well, anyway, that's great. I'm glad that was not that tough of a project for today. Okay, well, that's about it for today. Uh, it, was, it was an odd day today. Now, uh, what did we get done? We did the spice racks and we did the fan. Now, I gotta caution you, uh, if you are, uh, don't feel comfortable and uh, don't understand um, electrical coding, uh, basically like color coding and don't know how to use a multimeter, I recommend you find somebody who is a qualified electrician to do an install of something like that. But this isn't really that difficult. It's you normally when you buy like a ceiling fan kit, it will come with an instruction manual. And it's, it's meant for the consumer to do the installation. And even the, uh, the, the kit that we put in today for the re remote, the remote kit, it's also meant to be done by consumer. But you can, uh, if you're not comfortable, again, find a uh, qualified person who knows about this uh, so there are no safety issues there's nobody uh, nobody getting electrocuted or anything like that you don't cause any fires uh it was nice having our, our guests stop by this afternoon unexpected uh pleasure as well uh tomorrow oh before i go uh, tomorrow tomorrow is probably going to be the bahai kupo uh trip to to look for um, bamboo for the Baikubo, see what we can do as far as that goes. Uh, what I found out today was uh, for our kit didn't come uh, because uh, his son was ill. He had to go uh, to, the, uh, to the doctors. So uh, I'll try to catch up with Kit later on and maybe we'll do uh, some other kind of thing around here. Remember Kit's our drummer as well. Uh, you'll see him for another practice here, uh, another jam sometime in the future. Uh, so that's it for today. Again, uh, thank you for watching. I hope you uh, found some of this interesting. Uh, just remember, all of these things that I'm doing around the house, you can also do around the house. And you can save yourself money uh, from hiring like uh, the plumber when I went the other day and I was able to uh, get the clogged pipe unclogged. Uh, I called, uh, uh, as a matter of fact, I called a plumber in Lipa and just to come out and unclog a pipe, they wanted to charge 7,000 pesos. 7,000 pesos, you heard it right. And I was like, 7,000 pesos, I'll go out and I'll buy a snake, which is what I did. I bought a snake uh, between the solvent that goes inside to kind of loosen stuff up, and a snake, I was able to uh, do all of it myself, unplug it completely, and we have no more problem with the clog anymore. I don't remember how much to snake, but it's a, it's a good investment. Every house should have a, a, one of those auger uh, snakes inside to be able to unclog your uh, pipes. I think maybe it was maybe 1,000 pesos, 1,500, somewhere in that neighborhood. And also, if you are capable to do things like what we did today, the, uh, uh, the electrical work, 
You can save your money on electrician's fee as well because electricians are not inexpensive. Even here in the Philippines, they're not they're very expensive uh, in places like the United States. But here in the Philippines, uh, they're still expensive to some degree. So if you have the opportunity to do things yourself, uh, you can do it. You can save some money and you can have self-pride of doing the project yourself. Well, anyway, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Please share. And if you have not subscribed, just click on that little My PI Dream heart. In the bottom right hand side of your screen, you'll be subscribed and you'll be notified the next time I upload a new video. So until such time, you have a wonderful and blessed day. today's episode and you would like to see more just like these just click on one of the helpful links over to your right and you might be able to pick up on some good information on DIY projects how to or if you are interested in moving to the Philippines and building you'll find answers there as well <laughs>